<clears throat> so, um, just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, this is Thursday, the 15th of December. I am at home. My daughter is not feeling well. So, I'm going to walk you through, like, the research and uh, the final part two and the final part three. So, the first part, again, was the research. We went over this on Monday. Um, if you click on the link in Canvas, if you go down to part one, it brings up the research form. If you would fill this out and submit it on Canvas, that is all you need to do for that part. Now that is due. Um, I went ahead and just kind of pushed that date till tomorrow. It was due at the end of class today, but if you can have it in tomorrow, that would be fine. I'll go through everything then. Also, due tomorrow is going to be part two. Okay, so <clears throat> part two is really super simple. You're going to make a six to seven page slideshow using that information that you put into your form there. So you could just copy and paste or uh, just read and type, whichever you prefer. And then you're going to finish it up with... A, a proposal a project proposal what's you're gonna have in that proposal is what you decide that your artwork is going to be so it should be based on the topic of your research the example is here click that link and we hope it loads faster all right that's Todd McFarlane there, so uh, that is who my example is over. So you are going to, again, this is just the same information that was on there. Create a six, seven page slideshow, include the artist you've chosen, background information, images of the artist and their work, and your, pro pro uh, your project proposal. So uh, Todd McFarlane is a artist. He is a comic book um, artist, a graphic designer, and a sculptor. <clears throat> and McFarlane worked for Marvel for several years on several titles. Uh, he really didn't get a lot of notice until he started working on the art for The Amazing Spider-Man. And I really just enjoyed his take on the characters. McFarlane rose to stardom in like the 80s and 90s, primarily for his work on Amazing Spider-Man, like I said, and his credit for actually creating the Carnage and the Venom symbiotes. And you can see his work is a little similar. When he left Marvel, he went on to uh, work, or he created, helped create, a comic book line called Image Comics. And he and Liefeld and Eric Larson all, all kind of left Marvel to do that. And he created Spawn. I don't know if you know who Spawn is, but it was an HBO series and a Sony motion picture. And the characters really do have a lot of similarities. Kind of has that Venom look with a cape, right? He now owns McFarlane Toys, which is a multi million dollar company that has links to several recognizable brands. I'm sure that some of you recognize Mortal Kombat. Princess Bride, Seven Deadly Sins, um, Avatar, this is the Airbender. He's also doing the new, the toys for the new Avatar movie. Um, so you will see those out there, but you know he does a lot of different things. He is working with HBO again, so I don't know if you're a House of Dragon or Game of Thrones fan, but he also does those figures. Or his company does. I'm sure he has his hand in some of it, but now he, since you know he he's probably big enough to sit back and relax. Also does DC, and this is the Blackest Night by DC. So I'm really influenced by the drawing style of the comic books artists in the '90s. <clears throat> so I'm planning to draw my work as an ink and color large scale in. Um, character based loosely on the symbiote um, idea 
that McFarlane had for Venom, I'm probably going to just demodify it a little bit more for my liking. Uh, the size is roughly 12 by 18. That's that minimum, um, but we can change the measurements on yours if you would like to. And it probably took me about four hours to complete, thinking a little bit more. That said, as of today, if you're in fourth hour, you have today, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and then we have break. So there's four class periods there to work. Then when we come back, we would have between four and five more class period meetings before the semester is over. So you're looking at anywhere between nine, eight and nine classes to finish this. So uh, be realistic, but don't shoot for um, doing something to quickly get it over with, because if you've done a good job, you've been working really hard, it's just not finished. You know, I'll take that in consideration um, because of the time constraint. If you are coming to class and just hanging out until the last second and then you don't finish, you know, I also take that into consideration. <clears throat> Again, if you have any questions, let me know. But tomorrow, Friday, do is the slideshow and the, uh, the form. All right, thank you. And I will go ahead and stop this video.